I'm John Sims, a Detroit native, Sarasota-based conceptual artist, writer, and activist who creates art and curatorial projects spanning the areas of installation, performance, text, music, film, and large-scale activism informed by mathematics design, the politics of white supremacy, sacred symbols, anniversaries, and poetic and political text. Now, for the last 20 years, I've been working on the forefront of contemporary mathematical art while leading the nation's pushback on Confederate iconography. Both of these bodies of work will be the subject of my talk, Quilting Justice, Math Art to Flag Art. My 20-year project, Square Roots, a Quilted Manifesto, is a call to unify and collaborate mathematics and art, craft and fine arts, and visuals with text through a collection of 13 mathematical art quilts created in collaboration with Amish quilters with dresses, drawings, and the Pi Day Anthem. This work was recently featured in the first chapter of Stephen Orne's book, Math Art, Beauty, Truth, and Equations, published in 2019. And most recently, this past Pi Day, which is March 14th, 3-1-4, as a pinnacle of this work, I was invited to curate the Pi Day uh, celebration at the Exploratorium, the science museum that created Pi Day. And as a part of my residency there, I exhibit the two signature Pi quilts, organized the poetry and Pi performance featuring the poet laureates of San Francisco and Oakland, screened my math art films, and presented my Pi Day anthem and led the Pi Day Parade. As a part of this residency, I wrote an op-ed piece entitled, Pi Day is for Everyone, that got published in various outlets around the country. The other project I would like to talk about is called the Recoloration Proclamation, which is a system of works that features recolored Confederate flags, a hanging installation in Gettysburg, a 13 Southern States Confederate flag funeral, video, site-specific performances, a play, and a collection of experimental films, and the music project Afro-Dixie Remixes. Also included is the annual Burn and Bury Confederate Flag Memorial, which I organize um, the burning of the Confederate flag all across the country every Memorial Day. Um, also part of the system of work uh, is the was the performance um, and the exhibition of the piece, The Proper Way to Hang a Confederate Flag, that happened at Kennedy Museum at Ohio University. Uh, just most recently in 2021, I was able to organize and create the installation of the world's largest Afro-Confederate uh, battle flag on the steps of the South Carolina State Capitol that was part of a rally called the Rally Against uh, the Confederate State of Mind um, that just recently happened, as I said before. Uh, over the years, more than 150 collab collaborators, including poets, musicians, and artists throughout the country have come together to help me work on this project. Uh, and I'm internally grateful for them. Both bodies of work dealing with math art and flag art arbitrate the language and culture of division by confronting the symbols and culture of white supremacy that separate us while simultaneously searching for a path towards balance. Both this body of work challenge the spaces of power and exclusion to lay down the arms of separation and segregation and the means and ways to further the culture of white supremacy and black subjugation. Across both, there is a call, there is a quilt that claims space, past, present, and future for black bodies and minds so that all bodies may eat at the table of humanity in grace, peace, and justice. For my presentation South by Southwest, I aim to First, I want to show that art can be used to confront socio-political cultural supremacy while promoting inclusion and community. Secondly, I want to show that mathematics and art as parameters of human cognition together offer a powerful strategy in understanding the world around us and in us. And lastly, I want to show that quilting as a metaphor can weave diverse creative spaces and oppositional ideas together, offering clarity of vision and justice. Particularly in these political times, I would appreciate the opportunity to share to the South by Southwest community my work, ideas, and demonstration of art as an agent of social change 
and justice. Thank you.